Tyler Thompson, and we're back here with season nine of the BNN. It's gonna be a great year, boys, and I just can't thank y'all enough for the outrageous number of views we got on our past video. I mean, hold on, 291? <gasps> wow, okay, well, crazy. I'm gonna send it over to the Vin Man, and he's gonna let us know what happened in this past football game. This is Vinay Cantu and Clay Thompson. Today we're gonna take down the king of the jungle. And RIP my mate, Steve Irwin, baby. winding down guys and let me tell you it's a nail biter it is a nail biter we got to pull this one out we are here with Mr. Ibar himself how are you doing tonight Mr. I'm doing fine Mr. Palomero that's good doing? that's great I'm, I'm, I'm great myself I appreciate so that. we all know these football players they have their their rituals they do before the game what is your ritual before a high school football game before a high school football game specifically Central Catholic I put my boots on boots I make sure they're polished well that's nice Take my shirt in. Of course. Get my hat. Oh. And I'm here at the game. Of course. That's, that's what we like. Right. That's what we like. That's it. what we like. I don't know. Hello, Central Catholic. We are here in the sophomore section of Section R with sophomore sensation, Grant Steppen. So, Grant. So, Grant. I'm here with the heart and soul of the receiving core, Duck Harum. What does it feel like to get back on the field after almost a year of being off? You know, I, uh, I almost forgot what it felt like uh, in practice. You know, it's tough, got long, 30 days. But it feels great to be back out. Too easy? <laughs> Too easy. Let's go! <laughs> Gary! Now we're going to send it down to Vinny for his sports update on this week's Holy Bowl. Of what the Saturday night will look like. So we're gonna have about all the Holy Cross parents filled up all the way here. It's a sold out crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Then down there on the other end, you'll have Holy Cross's student section. Probably, eh, you know, a little filled up. Nah, not really. Over there, we've got the spectators from other schools coming in to watch. <laughs> oh, and then on the other side of the field, my friends. It will be bleeding blue and white. I mean, it's going to be insane. We will 
have every single seat filled up yelling cheering on our boys it's gonna be a crazy one and you don't want to miss it if you listen closely you can already hear it I'm here at Alamo Stadium this Saturday seven o'clock the key matchup Holy Cross versus Central Catholic the Holy Bowl will be back Doug Karam out in the slot Hank Hernandez in the backfield Nick Chavez drops back he rolls out left. He sees nothing. He evades a tackler. He runs the other way. He's going. Oh, he sees Doug down the field. He launches one. In the back of the end zone. Touchdown! Central wins! Ah! Ah! Wow. You can already envision it, guys. It's going to be a crazy one. We need everybody there loud, supporting our boys. I guess we'll have to call it a day. Yeah, so like I had I had two fifteen in right, and the wind the wind was in. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. What is that? I'm oh, sorry. We just got some groundbreaking news, and we're gonna have to send it over to John Mayer. James Herring here. It looks like we have a chance to interview the head coach of Central Catholic football, Mike Santiago, who is always very busy on game weeks. But we get one opportunity, so let's make this one count. He's right in here, guys. Coach Santiago. Good to see you. See we you. we have a we have three questions for you. Number one is, what do you do to prepare your athletes and motivate them for the games? I shouldn't have to motivate my players. That, that's that's pretty accurate. Do you believe in luck? I believe in luck. I believe in prayer. Nice, nice. And we hear about athletes' pregame meals, but what is your pregame meal? I believe in a low carb diet. Uh, only the meatballs and the salad. No noodles. All right, you're looking good. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. All right, boys, as y'all know, the school year just started, and we are off and running. And with the beginning of school year, we get new student IDs. And let me say, we've got some pretty good ones. Starting at number three, we have Noah Blackburn, whose smile will light up any room. At number two, as you can tell, who's not very happy with his second place finish, Marco Silva. And at number one, channeling his inner Anderson Cooper, Maroon Harb. Let's give a hand for these, these gentlemen. And uh, I'll send it to Olive for Tweets of the Month. How's it going, Button News Network? I'm Alejandro Lopez, and I'm here with Mr. East Coast himself, English 4 teacher, and Harvard graduate, Parker Ruby. We're going to be deciphering tweets from some of the best and most creative minds here at Central Catholic. Let's get into it. So our first tweet comes from a local rapper and student. I'm not going to disclose his name for the sake of... Uh, anonymity? Anonymity, brevity. Uh, I don't know, scientific analysis. His quote is, why my bread sticking to this nonstick pan? No period. Obviously a very deep philosophical thinker. That's, that's up there. Um, he clearly has issues with gluten, I think, and just trying to work them out. Working out his issues with gluten. I wish him the best of luck with that. I see where he's coming from from that one. It's definitely nebulous, to say the least. Our second tweet comes from a man who goes by Jack Payne, American flag emoji. If people are talking about how hard they work, then reality, they're probably not working that hard, period. The hardest workers ride in silence, period. Sure, yeah, why not? Uh, okay, man understands the value of a hard day's labor. Cool, mm -hmm. good for him. Definitely. All right, uh, we're getting to our second to last tweet. This one comes from at Hank HNDZ, or Hank, if you'd like to say. It says, new Twitter, and then the emoji for the injured man. Well, a man of few words, but clearly um, has nothing but disdain for some of the new features on Twitter. Uh, the contempt is very evident. A lot of hate in that man's heart. A lot of hate. A lot of hate. A lot of hate. Yeah. So I think it comes from a place of pain, given the emoji. It's uh, definitely a... It's more suffering it's than a two, hate. It's a two-way street, I think. I think it's... Okay. 
I like that. I'll take that interpretation. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have one from at underscore Vincent underscore Cantu. Vincent Cantu. When young Ma said, I ride for my guys, that's the bro code. I felt that. Mm, obviously very in touch with the central brotherhood. Um, you know, values, male companionship. Um, I think just to a healthy degree, nothing too strange. Um, but yeah, values is bros. Good for him. That's it from Parker Ruby, and I can indeed agree with Vinny when I say I felt that as well. Thank you, Mr. Ruby, and that's all for today. Yeah, it felt kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> to say the least. I just want to thank you all for watching this BNN of this month. Uh, stay tuned and be, make sure, be there. 7 o'clock, Alamo Stadium, Holy Bowl. See you all later. Oh, oh.